live, Stephen Harder West, Texas. It's the James Hendricks Show, the superbity in broadcasting, and here with the James Hendricks Center for Advanced Federalist Conservative Studies. Hey, everybody, I'm sorry for all the delay. I saw this in the episode title that uh, I am going to give you kind of a, a moderate spiritual view. I was checking uh, CBN News. I'm probably still going to uh, do that so that uh, maybe somehow you know Here's one article in CBN News. U.S. Special Forces raid a terrorist haven in northwest Syria, killing a top ISIS uh, leader. Now, I think that that's more newsworthy than half of the reactive crap that's on there. Now, I like CBN News, but uh, one thing that I like to cover is uh, the Mark of the Beast, and I have my own... Uh, opinions about that, which are neither here or there on this show. So, with that, we're going to go back to the usual conservative news and and hope for the best, folks, and hope for the best. What I can count on today is one American news. Top ISIS leader killed in U.S. raid in Syria. Targeted uh, jihadists made a suicide this. Okay, we already know about that one. Uh, Marine veteran announces congressional run. Can you believe it? That, that, that To me, that sounds wonderful. Alright. I think we got some audio. Let's see how that goes. Hi, I'm Ron Paul. You might recognize me as the congressman who spent 22 years defending American liberty. Or maybe you've read my best-selling book, End the Fed. But my first passion was actually medicine. In fact, I've been a medical doctor for nearly 60 years. So I view the coronavirus through a different lens than most politicians and certainly differently than the experts you see on TV right now. Which is why I'm reaching out to you today through this online video. There's an important message I worry is lost on those who are listening to the mainstream narrative. What I'm about to share might sound controversial, but I'm not trying to scare anyone. I've always tried to be a voice of sanity and reason even in turbulent times. But my beliefs often run counter to the mainstream narrative. Today, I simply want to warn you about what's really happening in America right now and show you something you and your family can do today to protect yourselves from the even more alarming problem. I uh, don't think that that was the... uh, uh, (laughs) Yeah, I think that that's more of a, uh... Alright. The Marine Veteran Announcement. I gotta say, I think it's good to hear some, 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 some new, uh, good news here. Here it is. A retired Marine is running for the New Hampshire Republican nomination in the 2022 congressional election. He shared his plans with One America's Caitlin Sinclair. Julian, thanks for joining us. I'm really interested in hearing about your campaign, specifically with the centerpiece being focused solely on restoring some security to our election system. Can you share some of those details with us? Well, I started on the ground as the only candidate in New Hampshire working with the New Hampshire Voter Integrity Project, trying to fix the issues that we had in 2020. We had very specific issues in the state uh, regarding ballots that were mailed out, things that were ignored, processes that were ignored, and then when we went to correct these issues that resulted in a 
unanimous vote in our state. Well, that's because reactive politicians ignore processes. 300 extra votes for each of the Republicans in the in that town due to an error with the machines. And the issues go on and on. Now, the damage of voters' trust comes from the multiple attacks on the 2020 elections integrity by Democrat-controlled states, along with this ongoing push right now to nationalize elections with loose to no voting controls. Americans have no faith. Uh, what kind of reaction and support have you gained just from focusing on these issues alone? I think a lot of people, unless you're polling hardcore Democrats, most people can look at what happened in 2020. For a lot of states, it was legislative action that should have been, that should have taken place, not taking place because the executives in each state ignored voting laws, ignored the the checks and balances, and the way to secure our elections. Whole clock. You had AGs who just refused to do their job, refused to enforce the law. And, and that's not how things are supposed to be done. Laws are, are there to be followed. Julian, what does your schedule look like? What's on tap for you? How do we follow? So I started things out a little bit differently with my campaign. Rather than focus on fundraising, I purposely ignored fundraising to be on the ground with the voters all year last year, knocking doors for state rep candidates, special elections, uh, going to school board meetings, fighting CRT. And and, and now we, we know about that. I'm excited that I am running. You know, I wanted to write, and, and I should have thought about this, and there should be a book out there, at least from back in the 1990s, called Saving the Republic among conservatives. If, if, if they're not, there should have been. Someone should have written one by now. We wouldn't have had some of these. Uh, here's a story that's grabbing me right here. <laughs> from the House fr- from <laughs> the House Freedom Caucus. <laughs> you know. So, House Freedom, Freedom Caucus hearing examines Biden Open border policies. Oh man, I tell you what, that that tells you something. The House Freedom, this is also from One American News. The House Freedom Caucus holds a hearing featuring expert witnesses presenting evidence of how the Biden administration's reversal of Trump era uh, border security policies has resulted in a historic crisis. One America's John Hines has more from Capitol Hill. So, that tells you something right there. If the House Freaks Freedom Caucus is having the guts to negotiate this, then, then there we go. And, and those Canadian freedom uh, convoy protesters, hats off to them. I tell you what, thousands of times, it's been proven in our government to the, the nations over the years that socialism doesn't work. Socialism doesn't work. Deseret News. Now, with that, I'm going to try another news source. A Republican showing Mitt Romney more love. A new Utah poll has the answer. Uh, of course. Yeah, I quieted. Well, I'm kind of wondering, are they? Republicans and Democrats in Utah approve equally 
of the job Senator Mitt Romney is doing, marking dramatic shift from what has recently been a greater Democratic than GOP support from the first uh, uh, term senator. A new Desert News uh, Hinckley Institute of Politics poll shows 51% of Republicans and 51% of Democrats in the state approve of his job performance. Romney does a little better among uh, unaffiliated voters with a 54% approval rating. Now listen, I supported Mitt Romney in 2012, okay? I honestly thought he had a chance of winning. But his anti-Trump rhetoric has really given me a cause for concern. Now, let's see if we can find any more uh, Columbine Survivor uh, starts a chain reaction of positive encouragement. Craig Scott was in a dark place after surviving the mass shooting at, Co at Colorado's Columbine, Columbine High School that took the life of his sister. Uh, but one trip changed the trajectory of his life and he harnessed the weight of his grief in ways that would be unimaginable to most using it to carry on his sister's legacy of kindness and compassion and positivity impact the lives of millions of people along the way. Now, I think that's what we need more good news. We need more Christians to say, hey, we can save this republic. The republic. We can save us from that. Uh, the problems of the uh, current Democratic Party, which seems to be reading straight out of um, Frederick Nietzsche and the Communist Manifesto. I mean, I remember when I was in graduate school, I took a sneak peek at what was going on with political theory, and I was just shocked. So there you go. You, you hear me? You hear what I have to say? Hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and receive most daily updates. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time. Take care. Become proactive informed. And God bless you.